If your Canva account is a hot mess, then you are without a doubt spending way too much time creating graphics to market your business. I know what it's like. You open the app and all of a sudden you're like, where's that image? Where the heck is that template? Where's that design I just created? And it's really hard to start designing when you can't find anything to begin with. So if you're in a constant state of overwhelm every single time you open Canva, then stick with me because the tips that I'm about to share with you in this video can change the way that you design for your business for good. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kristen and I share branding and graphic design tips, tricks, tutorials, and productivity hacks for personal brands and entrepreneurs who don't have tons of time to waste in Canva. Let's jump into my Canva account and I'm going to show you how a real graphic designer organizes Canva in a way that makes designing super fast, so much easier, and tons of fun. Let's go. It's one thing that you take from this video, let it be this. When you open up Canva to create your next graphic, I want you to avoid this hot mess of a home screen at all costs. It is very unorganized and it is incredibly overwhelming. Instead, you want to head over to the Your Projects folder, which is a much more organized view of your designs, the images that you've uploaded, and all of the folders that you're going to be creating. You're going to notice this new section where you can click through each of these tabs to see all of your folders, all of your designs, all of your images, and all of your videos. The first step in organizing your Canva account is to set up your brand kit. You can do that by clicking over here in the left panel where it says brand kit. The first thing you need to do is upload all of your brand logos, usually a horizontal version, a stacked version, and then a submark or icon. I think it's a good idea to have a white version of each of these logos. So if you need to place it on a dark background, you'll be all set. The next thing you want to do is upload your brand colors. You can do so by clicking this little plus icon here and dropping in the hex code of any color. Set your brand fonts. With Canva Pro, you can also upload fonts that you have purchased on other websites. The next step is to clean up your files. If you're anything like me, you probably have hundreds and hundreds of files, some of which you might not even use or need. Back in the Your Projects tab, click into the Designs tab, and you're going to be shown all of your designs in the order that you created them or last accessed them. You can view them like this as a grid or you can click this little icon up here to view as a list. Beginning at the bottom of the list, start deleting files that you no longer need or use. Don't worry, your files will remain in the Canva trash for 30 days. It's more of a recycle bin. To delete a file, just click on these three buttons here. Let me move myself and move to trash. If you want to delete files in bulk, you can select multiple files by clicking the little checkbox, and then you're going to see this folder and trash can appear down below. Just click the trash can. Once you've deleted the files, rename all of your files appropriately. To rename a design, just click this little pencil icon. Name Name it something that you would search for. All of your files are actually searchable. I might name this Kristen with a Santa hat. When the holidays come around and I need to find this photo, I'll be able to find it so much easier. Once you've tidied up your designs, it's time to tackle the uploads. Pop over to this images tab and this is where you are going to see every image that you have ever uploaded. This is a lot. These are also organized by the last time you use them or the date that you uploaded the image. Scroll all the way to the bottom. This might take you a long time to get there. Just like you did in your designs folder, you're going to want to start deleting images that you no longer use or need. To delete an image, just click over into these three little dots and then move to trash. You can also select multiple images to delete them en masse. Just click the little check boxes and Pop down here to the delete button. You need to be careful when you're deleting images because if you delete an image that is currently used in a design, the image in the design is not gonna show up. It's going to show up as just a gray error box. Once you have all of your unused and unneeded images deleted, it's time to start the renaming process. Before I jump into the next step, if you're loving this video, then be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can continue learning how to design better graphics in less time alongside me. Whew, now that we got all of that out of the way, the next step 
in organizing your Canva account is to create a custom folder system. You can organize your folders by product, by theme, or by project. There's no right or wrong way to create this folder system. You really just need to think about what is going to make the most sense for your brain and your business. Just create a folder system that makes the most sense to you. A couple folder examples might be client work, lead magnets, social media graphics, digital products, your brand elements, website graphics, or even templates that you often use. You can even create subfolders inside of folders to keep yourself even more organized. To create a folder, head to your projects tab and go into folders. Click this little plus icon here, select folder, type in your folder name, and then create the folder. You can open the folder from here and add even more subfolders. Once you have your folder system built out, it's time to move some things around and make some magic back in the designs tab all the way to the bottom. You can start moving designs to a folder one by one. I totally expect you to have to create more folders or subfolders as you start working your way through these designs. To move any design to a folder, just click these three little dots, move to folder, go into your projects folder, choose any folder, and then click the purple move here button. If you want to move multiple files in bulk, just select them all, click this little folder icon down here, find whatever folder you wanna move them into and select move to folder. When you move designs into a folder, they are removed from this master design list. Depending on the amount of designs that you have created, this could take you a little bit of time, but I promise you it's going to be worth it. Once you have all of your designs in the appropriate folders, it's time to move on to your images. Click into your images tab, and once again, start at the very bottom. Begin moving your images into the folders that you have created. You can select multiple images to move in bulk. Any image that you put into a folder will no longer appear in this list, so you know exactly what images you have left to organize. Side note, I have not yet renamed all of these images or this video would never get published. One more great thing about these folders is that once you have them created, you can just drag and drop them to move them around. If I wanna move this folder, original selfie headshots into my Kristen Rapp brand folder, I can just drop it right on top of that folder and voila, folder moved. Canva organization for the win. If you already have folders created inside of your Canva account, but they are a little unorganized, now now is an excellent time to go through each of the folders and delete any designs that you no longer use, rename them to something that's searchable, and also delete any images and rename them so that they are searchable too. If you wanna learn how to actually use this organizational system to streamline your graphic creation, then you'll definitely wanna catch part two of this video because I'm gonna take it a step further and show you all kinds of time-saving ways that you can use this organizational system like a pro. There there are so many things that you need to learn in order to design for your business, and it really does start at the foundation of organizing your Canva account. On top of that, there's all kind of branding things you need to know and graphic design rules and principles to follow. It's a lot. So if you wanna become a total Canva pro, then be sure to sign up for my free design training, Design Class 101 from Chaos to Canva Pro, where you're gonna learn how to take total control of your brand, your graphics, and your Canva design workflow. Find the link to Design Class 101 in the video description below, and I will see you inside. I cannot wait to see what you create. Bye.